Well, good morning, everybody. Today is March 6th. I am Josiah Manners, and I'm joined by my co-host today. I'm Hayden Kenny. Welcome to DSOA Today. Attention all students, Arts Camp registration is now open until Friday, March 17th. Camp dates are May 30th to June 2nd. Spots are awarded on an award-based lottery system, and so because of that, your parents will be notified if you are chosen to attend through email. The Creative Writing students and the Speech and Debate team present a collaborative showcase of original and interpretive speech selections performed by communications students. The Figure of Speech is, an is our annual showcase of original poetry, duo and dramatic interpretations, original oratories, informative speeches, and group slam poetry. The show will be on one day only, Thursday, March 9th, in the Black Box Theater at 6 p.m. Tickets, which are $5 for students and $10 for adults, can be purchased on Seat Yourself by using the QR code on the flyer or at the door. See you all at the show. Just as a helpful reminder, Dreyfus Spirit Week starts this Friday. Don't forget to bring your school spirit. The music department is in search of parent coordinators to oversee the DSOA Usher program for the 2023-2024 music department concert season. Students get community service hours for volunteering, so the program is a real win-win. Join them at 9 a.m. on March 14th in the teacher lounge in the cafeteria or via Zoom with the link and code pictured on screen. Now, speaking of music, here's a package on what's happening in the strings department. Hey Dreyfus, I'm Mia Alonzo. And I'm Sophia Menchin. And we're here to find out what's, what's happening in the strings department. department. Let's go ask the experts. Is there any like events coming up in the strings department or anything that you would want the student body to know about? Yes, there are always events coming up. We play four concert programs a year in my department, and I conduct two orchestras, and both orchestras play on each concert. So our next concert is Tuesday, March 7th. It's at uh, 7 o'clock in Meyer Hall. Music students are free. Everyone else, it's uh, $10. So like, what stuff are you working on right now? Uh, currently, we're actually working on a few things that people are probably more familiar with um, because usually a lot of people are like, you know, we'll play music and they're like, oh, that's nice, but I don't know what that is. Right now, we're working on Barber of Seville, which a lot of people will know from, like, they'll associate it with, like, Bugs Bunny, usually Looney Tunes, if they've seen that. Um, and we're also working on Dvorak's New World Symphony, which is also a very famous theme. And we're working on Mahler's first symphony. Remember to stay informed about every major at our school. Each one plays an important part. Well, that's all for now, Dreyfus. Back to the anchors. Juniors and seniors, prom tickets are available for purchase on School Cash Online for $146. Order them now so you don't have to pay the full price at the door. I, for one, definitely want to see you there, Hayden. And remember, students, the vocal department's The Kamala Concert will be held in Meyer Hall this Wednesday at 8 p.m. Be sure to head out and support your fellow students. Our tennis team has been off to a great start. Here's a short clip of them in action. Hi guys, I'm Sophia Plaza, your SGA co-president, and I hope you're getting super excited for Spirit Week 2023, which is coming up right around the corner. Starting on Friday, March 10th, we have Holiday Day, with freshmen as 4th of July, sophomores as St. Patrick's Day, juniors as Valentine's Day, and seniors as New Year's Eve. During lunch, make sure to go to the cafeteria to see the amazing fashion parade and check out all our talented Dreyfus designers and models. Monday, March 13th, is Class Click Day, with freshmen as nerds, sophomores as preps, juniors as jocks and cheerleaders, and seniors as goth. And everyone will be coming together during lunch to see the teacher versus student basketball game and cheerleading squad halftime. On Tuesday, we have Generations Day with freshmen as 50s, sophomores as 60s, juniors as 70s, and seniors as 80s. 
We will have our awesome Generations dances during lunch and after school. We have the first annual spike ball tournament from 4 to 7 p.m. in the gym. So make sure to sign up you and a partner on the Google form with a $15 entry fee. If you're not a top tier spike ball player, we'd still like you to join us to watch for only $3 at the door. And we'll also have tons of concessions for sale. On Wednesday, we have Music Genre Day with freshmen as country, sophomores as techno slash pop, juniors as indie slash alternative, and seniors as rock and roll. In the morning, we'll be filming our lip dub, and you'll be receiving a pass to your assigned section you are able to pick. During lunch, we have our first ever Battle of the Bands with each class performing their music genre. And finally, the day everyone is waiting for, Thursday is our class color and pep rally day. We have a full lineup of games, performances, dances, and all kinds of fun that will be insane. Make sure to check in with your class council if you're interested in being involved with any of these events. And we'll be sure to see you at Spear Week 2023. Well, I for one do not want to miss out on any of that Spirit Week magic, but unfortunately, that's all we have for you today, Dreyfus. I am Josiah Manners. And I'm Hayden Kenny. Have a magical Monday, Jags. We'll see you at class changes and lunches. Stay tuned for the last of our Public Schools Week videos. Take care. Well, I think that Dreyfus sort of chose me. Um, I was approached by the former Dean of Digital Media at a former teacher's retirement party, and he asked if I'd like to come in and teach a class, and that's how it all started, and here I am. It's magical. <laughs> why, why, why wouldn't you want to work at Dreyfus? That, that's the question. Like, this is the holy grail of educational teaching. You have kids who are talented, that challenge you as a teacher because you need to keep up with them and stay ahead. And, and they're so diverse in their artistic talents. Just because you're in one art area doesn't mean you're not talented in multiple areas. And so they think um, differently and they see things in a whole new perspective and way that just makes teaching them such a joy. So I ended up at Dreyfus because previously we, we lived in New York. I worked at NYU at their student health center. And um, when I got here and I put in my application, I was interviewed by a nurse and she said, oh, we have the perfect place for you um, because it was similar. It was the arts. Um, so then I ended up here at Dreyfus and I love it. I love you guys. Dreyfus students are motivated and invigorating. Um, it's a privilege to work here because we're a smaller school with a family atmosphere. Our climate is, you know, personal growth and it allows us to really help students navigate their way through high school one-on-one -on -one as opposed to a large school with numbers. They can't help it, you know, but by the nature of numbers, you know, we have an advantage here, but it's just a privilege to work with the staff and the students. I just love Dreyfus. Um, if I were a high school student, this would be my dream school. Um, I love the arts. Uh, I'm a writer myself. So it's just really a wonderful place to be. I love being with colleagues that care so deeply about their students and about the subject matter. And I love being with students that are so passionate about the arts. It really, truly is a magical place.